yesterday i showed you a demo of a j advanced question today let us analyze it a soft plastic bottle filled with water carries an inverted glass test tube with some air trapped as shown so this is a plastic bottle it contains an inverted test tube as shown the test tube has mass 5 grams and uh, initially the bottle is sealed at atmospheric pressure okay so initially this bottle is sealed at atmospheric pressure what it means is you are filling this water putting this test tube and you are closing the lid okay so he is telling us that here the pressure is atmospheric pressure volume of the trapped air is 3.3 cc so right now the volume of this trapped air is 3.3 cc when the bottle is squeezed from outside at constant temperature the pressure inside rises and the volume of trapped air reduces so when you are squeezing the bottle what happens is the pressure inside rises and some water goes into this and the volume of the trapped air decreases it is found that the test tube begins to sink at pressure p not plus delta p okay without changing its orientation that means after we have pressed it at a particular pressure this test tube starts to sink without changing its orientation what he means is that the test tube is not you know moving side or changing its direction okay that is what he means without changing its orient at this pressure the volume of the trapped air is v not minus delta v so what happens because of increasing the pressure the volume of trapped air decreases so that volume is v not minus delta v let delta v equal to x cc delta p equal to this the value of basically is asking us what is the how much volume has decreased and how much pressure has increased okay so let us see the demo for this so these are the inverted uh, test tube increasing the pressure at a particular pressure what is happening this is going down so what is that pressure and when uh, you know it is just going down what is the volume of air inside the test tube okay here you can see i'm pressing it here this arrows represents the force so pressure is increasing okay and uh, this represents the water level the water level is rising so the volume of air inside is decreasing okay so now why does this test tube sink or why does any body just sink this body sinks because its density is equal to or just greater than the density of the liquid so what we are going to do here is we are going to consider this as our body this whole thing is our body what are, what is our body tell me the test tube the water inside the test tube and the air trapped here this whole thing is our body when does this body sink when its density equal to the density of the liquid okay so density of body equal to we can say 1 gram per cc density of body is 1 gram per cc so the mass of the body must be equal to volume of body see when is this tell me when it just sinks so this is when it just sinks mass of the body equal to volume of body what all do we have here we have a mass of glass plus mass of the water inside equal to we can take the mass of the air as negligible equal to volume of glass plus volume of water plus volume of air what is the volume of air when it just sinks he has given in our question that it was v not minus delta v so we can write this as i'll just write it as volume of air and then we'll substitute it okay so what is the mass of glass tell me this is 5 grams plus mass of water equal to see i can write this mass of water as 
वन डेंसिटी इंटू वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर इक्वल टू वॉट इज अल्यूम ऑफ ग्लास वॉल्यूम ऑफ ग्लास इज मास ऑफ ग्लास बाई डेंसिटी ऑफ ग्लास सो द मास ऑफ ग्लास इज फाइव ग्राम्स टेस्ट इज फाइव ग्राम्स डिवाइडेड बाई वॉट इज अ डेंसिटी टू पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स पर सी सी प्लस दिस इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर विल इट एज इट इज प्लस वॉल्यूम ऑफ एरिया गिवन एज वी नॉट माइनस डेल्टा ओके now these two we can cancel volume of water volume of water here and we can write this as 5 equal to 2 plus he has given this initial volume as 3.3 cc minus delta okay from this we'll take this aside so delta v comes out to be this is 3 3.3 3 minus 3 0.3 cc okay so the decrease in volume of air when it just sinks is 0.3 cc the next thing he has asked is what is the pressure here okay the next question so again that is uh, when it what we can write is for this air if there is no temperature change we know that uh, the number of moles of air in this is uh, same so we can write p initial v initial equal to p final v final so let us say p initial what was v initial 3.3 cc p final what is p final p not plus delta p so p not dash plus delta p volume final we have uh, calculated that is uh, you know 3 minus 0.3 that is 3 cc this is the final volume so we can just write a p not dash into 1.1 equal to p not plus delta p p not plus delta p p not dash plus delta p so what is delta p tell me delta p equal to p not dash delta p equal to 0.1 p not dash now this is very important okay what is this p not dash p not dash was the initial pressure of air inside this uh, uh, test tube if he has sealed the test tube if he has sealed the bottle at atmospheric pressure it means here the pressure is atmospheric pressure and here see the pressure of air here will be the same as the pressure of water here because they are at the same level right so it will be p not plus h rho g okay the pressure of air initially will be p not plus h rho g but he has not mentioned what is this h in the question okay so because he has not mentioned we cannot find uh, what is the uh, you know this so what we can do is if this is very small he has given the test tube very small if this h is very small we can take the h to be zero and we can take uh, this p not dash to be delta, what you call p not which is atmospheric pressure so in the question he should have mentioned that the initial pressure of air is p not uh, which is equal to 10 power 5 but he did not mention that in the question we will take it because it is not possible to move forward without using that uh, using that okay so delta p equal to 0.1 into 10 power p not initially will take it as atmospheric pressure so delta p equal to 10 power 4 okay uh, now he said what is y this y was equal to um this is y into 10 power 3 or y was equal to 10 okay so that's it so i hope you have understood the question you could relate the short and the question which was given in j advanced the inspiration of uh, this uh, j advanced is actually from this experiment okay so i hope you all have understood this and uh, see you all in the next video bye bye